All right. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dolo World. And I'm back with another video, man. So, I want to talk about a topic today. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. I want to talk about weed. Okay. I mainly hit topics that a lot of kids and a lot of teenagers and a lot of adults, uh, they, it, how can I say it? Um, it's like a big thing. Because, you know, you got different eras. You had the crack era. You had the, um, you had the, uh, the alcoholics. You had, like, during the, uh, what, the World War II, you had the meth. Because, you know, that was what they were taking. Was it meth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was meth that they was taking during, uh, that, uh, what's his name? Uh, Adolf Hitler had his, uh, soldiers taken so they can fight that long and fight that hard for how long they were fighting so yeah you had the meth era you had the crack era and now i want to say this is like the the pills era pills and lean and then shit honestly i ain't gonna lie this era of drugs is every damn drug but we're gonna talk about weed today so i'm gonna say a lot of things that's probably gonna hurt a lot of people's feelings that smoke but it has to be said okay number one I'm not that guy. I'm not finna beat around the bush. I'm not finna tell you it's okay to smoke every once in a while. It's okay to smoke. I'm not finna tell you that. I'm totally against it. Reason why? CBD and THC. Doesn't matter. Nine times out of 10, a lot of people ain't even doing it healthy anyway. It, well, healthy. It's nothing healthy about it, but they're not doing it in a healthier fashion. Now, when people get or well, use these types of like, they abuse it instead of actually use it for their health. There is no way that you can sit here and tell me that you smoke weed, THC, for your anxiety and depression. Because you may feel like it's helping you, but there's different alternatives to, uh, basically, there's different alternatives to helping, to not, not just helping, but for you to become, uh, do it in a better fashion or not do it at all right so let's say you smoking right and let's say you smoking not cbd let's say you smoking thc right nine times out of ten kids nowadays or teenagers they smoking it out of uh backwoods or swishers or whatever they smoking out of first of all you that w whenever you smoking that bad and you saying that you feel like you're addicted you're not addicted to the weed you're addicted to that gar you smoking out of because that gar has uh, what they call it, nicotine in it. And even on the package, on the backwood package, it even tells you that you're still to smoking tobacco. A lot of people think just because they're taking the tobacco out of the fucking leaf, they're not smoking tobacco anymore. Well, ding, ding, you actually are. The fucking leaf is tobacco also, and it has nicotine in it as much as the the tobacco that was in the no the tobacco that was inside of the uh, gar right so that's already unhealthy so then you go on and you try to switch to raw papers and uh you might be smoking the weed but you're not thinking about the long-term effects because every time and i'm gonna finna say something that's real that's that hits real hard every time somebody says that okay so every every time somebody says uh, makes an excuse about something. They say, well, Snoop Dogg smokes every day. Wiz Khalifa smokes, smokes every day. He's still alive. You're not finna sit here. I'm not finna sit here and believe that niggas are smoking a thousand blunts a day. A hundred blunts a day. I'm not finna sit here and believe that. I'm gonna have to see that. Anybody, bro, if I have, if, listen, if I'm an artist or if I am a celebrity of status, I'm going to tell the public anything and they're going to believe me because they think I hold power when I really don't. Anybody is of power. Anybody, anybody is a, is a, should be respected. You know what I'm saying? So what celebrities do is they have that power. They have that, 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 uh, that the lights on them. Just like on the stage, you paying attention 
whatever they're going to say, just like people from the news and people from anywhere else, you're going to believe it, right? So, uh, so basically I had, it was a car, it was a, it was a car behind me. So basically, um, so, okay. So the more, so the, yeah, that, that car, I hate when things distract me like that, but, um, so the more you, so the more you smoke, no, no, no. Back to what I was saying. I'm not finna sit here and believe that. Nobody's smoking that much a day. Not every day. And living healthy. Do you know how Wiz Khalifa changed his body? I don't mean to like bring people up. I follow Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa was one of my favorite artists at one point in time. Uh, actually, he's in my top five. Um. So, but do you really believe that he is actually like... Do you really believe that Wiz Khalifa is smoking 100 blunts a day? It doesn't matter what he tells you. It doesn't matter what anybody tells you. That's not what's really going on. People out here really living healthy. So they're not finna be doing that. Okay, so let's get to the real topic, though. Well, let's get to the real thing. All right, so weed. Weed is not... Is it, weed is good for you in certain areas. Uh, so let's say the doctors, they use weed oils, right? CBD oils. And it helps like, it helps with like uh, soreness in your body, stuff like that, weed oils. But smoking anything, it doesn't matter what it is, it's bad for you. It doesn't matter how clean you're smoking it. It doesn't matter how, what paper you put it in. It doesn't matter anything. At the end of the day, yes, weed is a plant. It is a flower. So, okay, it's from the earth. But you got to understand what you guys are smoking it out of. You also got to understand that smoking is just not good for you. The only thing you should be inhaling is air. That's it. Oxygen. And releasing. Uh, I don't want to sound wrong on this, but I think when you exhale, you're releasing uh, uh, what they call that. C8. C8. No. CH2. Whatever. I don't know. I guess. I guess CH2. I don't know. But you release something. You inhale oxygen, you release something. But that's the only thing you should be inhaling is oxygen, not smoke. And you will live a healthy life. Uh, another thing, for the people that says it helps them in life, uh, it, let me put it into better form. Okay, it's, it might be helping you in life. Okay, that's cool. So what happens when you get off of it? You go back to the so-called reality, real world, whatever, right? So when, okay, so let's say, let's say, okay, so you go back to the real world. Well, you say you go back to this, this, how can I say it? This bullshit reality, right? But what you got to understand is the more you keep putting your body through that much harm just to get a good time for however long a high lasts, it's not a good thing. Uh, you're going to have to find a way in yourself to cope with your depression and everything. And, the and one of the best ways to do it, take a day. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you to meditate. You can. Take a day. Uh, don't You don't have to exercise. Make sure you're eating. Make sure you 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 ate and pretty. Don't fill yourself up when you have to use the bathroom. And go to a room where it's dark, go outside, go somewhere and just sit there and try to close your eyes. Forget what everybody's thinking about you and close your eyes. And even if it's for an hour, you don't have to keep your eyes closed for an hour and just think to yourself how, uh, think it to yourself. What is going on with me? What can I do better? What should I save? How can I stop these bad habits? 
Just talk to yourself and try to figure it out. Um, I mean, you can you can talk to a therapist, but this is a way to help me get over it. Instead of just every single day smoking my life away, smoking my life away. Take your time. Listen to yourself and breathe, breathe in and out. And I feel like that'll help because I hate to see my fellow, you know, people that I grew up with or people that I, you know, people that I not just grew up with, but uh, like just people, just humans in general, the human race uh, fall, uh, fall to weed. Because, I mean, if you think about it, you got, of course, you got those people out here saying that I've been smoking weed for years. Or you got those people that say, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to be living that long anyway. We're all going to end up dying. So what's the point in trying? Uh, That is the sorriest excuse I have ever heard. You should never in your entire life ever let that come out your mouth. I want to see the whole entire human race win. People in jail, criminals, innocent people. Um, anybody, whole human race, and we are very, uh, as a, as a, as one, as a people, as all the people in this world, we are very confused. Uh, we would rather go and mess our body up for just a couple minutes to an hour of an of 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 temporary enjoyment and temporary lather or not lather i said lather temporary happiness then actually do these things and work hard just so you can acquire that happiness as you get older you're going to thank yourself for it you're not preparing yourself you're walking around saying that everybody Everybody is uh, this world. You were brought not brought in this world, but you were you were uh, people bringing you down or uh, how can I say it? Or you were you were born to fail or not even just born to fail. You were like people. The whole world is against you, but not really because it starts with you. Only you can make shit happen. I see a lot of stressed out people and all I ask them is what happened? It doesn't matter what type of circumstances you're in. You have time in your life. You have time for self-development and and getting better. I hate the excuses. I really do. Because now that I look back at it, a lot of people that I grew up with and a lot of people that I seen on the internet when they get older and they start complaining that the world was against them, nobody helped them with their bad habits, no, nobody did this, well, I'm just going to look at you. I'm not going to bash you, but I'm just going to look at you and tell you that what was going on 20, 30 years ago when you was out partying and trying to go to every single party, trying to go to every single concert, you know what I'm saying, uh, celebrating or or glorifying an artist or celebrity that don't even know you and will walk right past you, you know? So it's really about self-development, self-improvement, and uh, just living a healthier life. And don't get me wrong, I'm not finna sit here and say that I'm, I'm perfect. I don't, I'm not finna sit here and say, bro, sometimes I slip up and I have cake. Sometimes I slip up, slip up and I eat a freaking donut sometimes i slip you know what i'm saying but majority of the time no more than majority of the time i'm healthy i'm eating healthy i'm drinking water that's all i drink i slip up sometimes yes you're going to do that i promise you um i really got off topic so yeah that's that all right back to the weed okay so a lot of studies and there's things that's proven that that people say, you know, that that uh, weed, uh, you know, what I'm saying it, it 
okay so basically what they do is for our marketing marketing purposes weed in general it doesn't matter if you're smoking it doesn't matter what type of strain you're smoking especially nowadays it makes you lazy uh i know that personally when you smoke weed it makes you lazy uh you don't feel like working out it's like bad for you in general because you're eating unhealthy nine times out of ten you're not checking your surroundings you're not you're not paying attention words can go in in one ear and not the other you're not paying attention to every single detail i mean you got some people that can and it affects certain people differently obviously but at the same time uh it's also like i said it's also uh it's also uh it's taking a toll on your health really bad same thing is same thing as eating edibles because the sugar in the sugar content or whatever you you know what i'm saying it, well it really depends it really depends on how you make it if you make something healthy and you put a little bit of the oil in it or whatever however you make make it i guess it could be healthier than smoking but all in all i feel like not even just if it was prescribed to you by your doctor if you're doing it with the oils of course and you're doing it in a healthy manner to where you're doing it to uh, benefit you and not let it consume you then that's okay but if you're smoking i take i'm, I'm not with it at all um but like i was saying though it, it makes you lazy it makes you not want to do nothing it makes you just say fuck it i don't even want to do it no more literally that's what it says it makes it makes people it makes young people horny and, and and I ain't even I ain't even trying to be funny. I'm just saying it just makes you it, it just makes your hormones change, and it also messes up brain development, and especially for younger ones. And for us adults to be out here smoking on social media platforms saying that weed is healthy, more people should smoke weed. Kids are looking up to you. They're gonna smoke weed in in middle school high school, elementary school, and I didn't see kids in elementary school smoking little small ass blunts. No, not small, but skinny blunts. They long, but little skinny blunts, little skimps, probably 0.5, probably less. They still smoking, and they be about dumb as shit. They walk up to me, what up, fool? What? I'm like, bro, come on, man. We got to do better than this. Honestly, we have to. <laughs> what happened to being role models to kids? If, the, if that's what adults ever was. You know, but I mean, with the young, with the adults growing up now, we didn't like my generation. A lot of us didn't listen to our parents. A lot of us despised our parents. A lot of us disrespected our parents and stepped on our parents. So we still act like kids to this day. So just imagine a kid raising a kid. You might have an adult body, but you have a kid mindset. So just imagine raising a kid. You got teenage mothers out here that's smoking with their kids no 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 not smoking with their kids you got like mothers in their 30s that's smoking with their kids and it, it's not good like it's it, it's not good and then and then a lot of people don't know where they're getting it from and with with all with everything changing up in the world you don't know that you're getting real good quality quality shit quality weed it's like it's best just not to do it that's how I see it. I feel like when when they legalize it all throughout the world, the whole world, no, not the whole world, but the whole United States, when they legalize it, um, that could be a problem because I can guarantee you that test score is going to go down. There's going to be less graduates. There's going to be more car accidents. I can guarantee that. Please don't legalize weed everywhere. I know a lot, I know I'm gonna get a lot of people going crazy on me with that. But there's definitely gonna be more car accidents, bro. Way more. That should have been the, that's gonna be the number one thing that's going on. Car accidents, man. Cause nine times out of ten, there's more hot people getting accidents than sober. And not even just high, intoxicated. So, all I got to say is, man, well, I'm not going to conclude this video just yet, but yeah, so 
I mean, I'm going to talk about more topics too, but weed is like one that I wanted to go ahead and get off my chest real quick while I'm doing my exercise. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. We at, i pull my sleeve back. So we're at 47 minutes and counting. Yeah. So yeah, 47 minutes. I'm walking for an hour, maybe longer, depending on how long I make this video. Whenever I cut this video off, I'm done. Then I'm gonna start working on my legs, squats and stuff. But uh, so yeah, man, I mean, I advise you, I mean, if you're an adult, I can't tell you what to do, but you kids out there, I say, please don't smoke. And I'm not gonna tell you to wait. I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you to wait. I'm not gonna tell you to like, I'm not gonna tell you to wait to do it. I'm not gonna tell you to, to, to wait till you're 18 or 21 or anything like that. Just don't do it. Because I definitely know how the effects are. I know. I was trying my hardest to be healthy. I was trying my hardest to eat healthy. And it was so hard to do it. Because once you get off that shit, man. I'm sorry, kids. Once you get start, once you get high, you're going to crave fruity pebbles. You're going to crave cake. You're going to crave anything sweet that's bad for you. It's it's not going to be a good outcome. It makes you it makes you slower reacting. People and then people starting to do it at work. So people's work, their the way they work is slowing down. And I understand. Listen, I know. I understand. You're smoking for that little split second. You're feeling good. You're at work. Uh, you got the teachers at school or you got the managers screaming and yelling at you. You're laughing. You're enjoying yourself. But and I mean, who cares what people think about you? Right. Who cares if you make they're making a fool out of you? It's, you're supposed to be happy, right? Well, why don't you use that high and switch it around and remember and be like, bro, I can be like this not when I'm not high. When I'm not, you know, I'm not just trying. No, I am trying to put I'm, I am trying to put weed into the ground like it already comes out. But I'm trying to, like, end it because, I, like I said, bro, I know that if we legalize weed, it's going to be a problem because <sighs> anybody that smokes is going to that watch that video, this video is going to tell me that I'm tripping. But that means they already too far gone. It's like, what I feel like, people that smoke weed, I feel like they really just giving up. Because that's another way of making time speed up. It might feel like time going slower. But when you high, time pass. So you're basically smoking your life away. And that's pretty much what people are trying to do. They're just trying to get away. Like, think about it. You worked all week. You worked 10 hours plus. You only got Sunday off. Saturday and Sunday off or just Sunday off. Sunday. you like, man, you know what? I want to get up with the bros. I want to get up with my girls. And I want to go smoke. I want to go drink. I want to go party. I want to go do this. To be honest with you... <laughs> After that 10 hour shift, honestly, you start you have to start making plans and starting from somewhere. It's not like you have to just jump the ship and just start being like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. No. If your job is a problem, start looking for a better job with more pay and less hours. You know what I'm saying? You could try something. I mean, just do your math. I mean, the the, the days off, people's days off, y'all have to start using y'all days off more wisely. You can't sit here and tell me that I can't tell you what you can do on your days off because you're you're right. I can't. But what I can do is is put you on game that you're wasting time with every single off day you smoking and drinking and then you go back to that following Monday and then your reaction time is slow as hell on that Monday. And then you're then and then everybody are everybody gonna already know what's going on. Not that you should care, but you know what I mean? It's like weed is a weed is a drug man 
fuck saying it's a plant. We get it in kids head. Y'all are trying to make it seem like weed is fucking like a fruit. Like when we call it a plant, that's like calling it like fucking like a rose or call it like a plant. Like you call it like fucking cabbage or Brussels sprouts or, you know, anything that grows in plant form. Right. Y'all making it seem. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. Right. But the effects that it does on your body is not like those other effects. Because when you eat greens, they're good for your body. It helps you. It can help fight. It can help fight, I think, uh, either cancer or diabetes. It can help fight off sickness. A lot of things like that. Uh, Bacteria. But when you're smoking the weed, it might help. You might, it might seem like it's helping, but only for that time. And then the come down off of weed, it's like the come down off of weed is crazy because you, the next day, you feel like you ain't shit. Like, you just feel like you don't want to do nothing. It feels like you're still high. I don't understand how you people, how my people, no, forget that, my people, the human race, I don't understand how my people can just smoke that shit, smoke their life away, and not do nothing productive. Now, I ain't gonna lie. If you are smoking and you're doing something productive in life, shout out to you. But I feel like you should lower your consumption because the more and more you lower it, the more and more you set yourself up for that task. You know, a lot of people tell me, why are you trying to control my life? I'm not. But I'm telling you, if you get rid of smoking, don't do no alternatives by smoking vapes and smoking. Uh, man, we don't even want to get on vapes. I mean, come on now. Like the pesticides that be in it, the uh, the I think it's some shit that gets stuck, that gets in your lungs that that people are dying from with those vapes and those uh, dab pens. We not finna get in those dab pens. I mean, come on now. Like those dab pens, we already know it. Like, we already know it. That, like we we definitely not finna get into that because. That's self-explanatory. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to get into that. We're talking about the actual flower itself. So, all in all, before I conclude weed, is I'm really speaking to the kids. Please hold off. I mean, eventually you're going to become adults. You're going to become adults. You're going to do what you want to do. But as a kid, for me, Please get your education. Please learn as much as you can. This is what my grandpa told me. My grandpa always told me, and I was the only grandson that listened to him. The only. The only one. I know it. Listen. Get your education. Learn as much as you can. Take the headphones out your ears when your teacher and your boss is talking so you can soak up as much information. It doesn't matter if you get information from your friends. It doesn't matter if you get information from your mother, anybody, any sort of information, even if it's a lie, it's information. Eventually, you're going to find out the truth, but it's better than knowing nothing. It's better than not knowing because nine times out of 10, if you're walking around saying lies, maybe someday somebody will correct you. But if you don't just know jack shit and you continue to keep walking around high and just wear sagging your clothes, always smelling like weed. I mean, honestly, you just to me, you, it looks like you just giving up. It looks like you don't give a shit no more. You don't you don't care about your life. You just smoking the past time. And I mean, I mean, where where how far are you gonna go in life? Um, honestly, like right now, I shouldn't even be drinking bottled water because. From what the dentist says, the den- uh, bottle of water doesn't have fluoride in it. And fluoride is good for the teeth. I think that's what he said. So, uh, you know, I mean, I drink I, I damn, I drink uh, tap water that's filtered most of the time. Yeah, I drink tap water that's filtered. So this is my first water bottle in like, for, uh, in like a while. But, I mean, I didn't feel like filling up my my uh 64 ounce uh 
water uh, jug. So I just I'm gonna just pick me up a water bottle and go out the door. Regardless, you're drinking water at the end of the day, man. But yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, that's just gonna end that weed topic. Uh, something I want to get into. What's something I want to get into before I end it off? Uh, uh, oh yeah. So for all you people, I, I'm not, I'm not going because I'm still learning about it. But for everybody, all my people that are going shopping, let's be, let's start being smart about this. Let's start doing research on the foods that we want to eat that's healthy. Just start doing research on healthy foods. I don't care that you don't feel like doing it. I don't care that you have to stop eating your favorite food because if you want to live longer and you want to live a healthier life, you don't want to have as much trouble and as much aching in the body as much when you get really old, you know, and I don't care if you don't care. I care. So... If you don't want to have as much aching and, and, and hurt and, and soreness in your body, always complaining and walking around like this, with your head down all day long, and you're walking with your chest out, you're walking with your head up high, you're looking up in the sky, people looking at you, looking all crazy, like, why does he look like that? Why does he look like that? I'm like, hey, I'm happy, you feel me? I'm walking, I'm walking up, I'm looking up. I'm walking with my head up high. I don't look down anymore like I used to. I don't hunch my back. I have perfect posture. I'm standing straight up. I'm walking straight. I'm breathing perfectly fine. You see what I'm saying? That's the way you want to live. That's the way you want to live. People might think it's funny, but the people that think it's funny don't really, they're still, they still have to mature up and they still have to grow. I understand. No hard feelings. But, okay. But for you people, for my people, trying to live better. Number one, start making grocery lists. It's going to save you time in the store from going out to out, trying to figure out what you want, trying to figure out what you need, all that. Make a make a uh, grocery list. That's number one, point blank period, grocery list. Number two, make sure you are searching up what is healthy. So when you do, no, no, no. This is, let's swap that. Search up what you need, the good nutritional facts and the good nutrition, uh, nutritional things that you need to eat and things that you need to stay away from and ingredients you need to stay away from. You know what I'm saying? I can tell I can tell you a few sodium phosphate. That's number one. Uh, artificial colors, artificial flavors, because anything artificial is fake. Uh what else? Stay away from corn syrup, of course. That's the biggest one. Stay away from added sugars. Try to at least. Um, stay away from uh, the the stuff like like the stuff. Uh, what's it called? Almond almond milk. They have the, like gum and, and 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 some other things in it that you shouldn't be drinking. Uh, and if you didn't know, in almond milk, in a lot of almond milk brands like Silk and uh, it's some other one. I think it's called i forgot what it's called almond something but in a lot of these almond milks they have uh what's it called they have um only four uh almonds in it and the rest of it it's not even real almond milk it's not even real almond milk it's not even almonds in it it's only four almonds that they put in it maybe five why you think it's so thick Go to the store, pour you cup, pour you a cup of almond milk, and make some homemade almond milk. All you need is a cup of water or whatever. How much? How much? Pour how much ever water. The ratio of the water ratio to the almonds. Pour it in a blender. Pour your almonds in a blender. Take some salt. Pour a little pinch of salt in there with your hand. Maybe like a tablespoon of salt or less. And no, 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 maybe less, maybe a half a tablespoon of salt. Put a little pinch of vanilla abstract if you want to, and then blend it up. Pour that in the cup and compare those two. I can guarantee you the one that I just told you is a lot better than and a lot more healthier for you than the ones at the store. Because the ones at the store is more thicker, 
and there's some things that they put in it that you shouldn't be having. So, yes. So that's number one. Number two, make a grocery list. Number three. Number three. You cannot forget about this. Read the labels. I cannot say it so much to people just because on the label it says diet, diet Coke, uh, zero sugar, uh, zero calories, this, this and that. Just because fuck with the front of the labels, the front of the box says, the front of the cartridge says, the front of the package says, I don't care. Read those labels. A lot of times, if you want something organic, you have to always take into consideration that a lot of the fruit and a lot of the, the peanuts and a lot of the uh, a lot of like a lot of the uh, the um, almonds and walnuts and all that stuff might have pesticides on it so you have to look and you have to do your research on it i think organic i think you have to get organic almonds because regular almonds has um they it's i think it has roundup on it i think because they because around the tree they spray roundup around the tree not on it because you know you have to shake the tree to make the almonds fall down so i mean it just depends it depends i guess uh, but I know it's round up around it just so the, uh, so when it falls, it doesn't get in any roots or any uh, vines or whatever. They try to get all that about it there. So you have to take that into consideration. Uh, what's another thing? Um, okay, so after you read the label, please read the labels. Um, and I think that was three. Read the label. No, that was one. List. The list. No, it was the... Do your research on the ingre- uh, on the ingredients and nutrition, what to eat, grocery list, read the label. Then I just said, um, yeah, read the label. Then I just said, I talked to you about the, the uh, oh yeah, the almond milk. And then number five, I will say, make sure that you are okay with bread. <laughs> okay, if you are a bread eater like me, I love bread, carbs. Don't listen to nobody. The only carbs that you should stay away from is simple carbs and refined carbs. But to be honest with you, those are both the damn same thing. And simple and refined carbs is white rice, um, white bread, uh, like egg, pasta, and shells, stuff like that. Simple carbs, you know what I'm saying? You know, what you need to be eating. When it comes down to bread, it's whole grain because whole wheat, whole grain wheat bread. I mean, okay, so you got different shades of bread, right? You got white, you got brown, you got grainy, and you got wheat. You should be looking for whole grain. But when you're looking for whole grain, make sure that the that is no sugar added to it. Or if it is sugar added to it, probably one gram. That's most. That's 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 the most. That's the most that that's the most that should be added to a to bread is one gram. I would say that I recommend that if it's going to be any sugar in it, make sure it's one gram. Then, um, one gram. Then, uh, make sure that it says whole grain, not whole wheat. The whole grain because you need to be a whole grain we a whole grain bread uh it should say whole grain flour and uh yeah and then you should be good i mean it's obviously some more things like you said i gotta do i got like i said i gotta do some more research you gotta do some more research it's all good i mean i'm still learning uh so yeah that's with that uh number six. Oh yeah oils the only oil you should be eating is extra virgin olive oil i'm just gonna leave it at that uh, I got some, I got some ones. I mean, you got pectal, you got pectal and that's from, I think that's from Spain. I think that's a Spain olive. Uh, then you got, uh, Greek oil and that is called, I think it's just called Greek oil. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's Greek olive oil. <laughs> and it's another one, but I forgot they're kind of pricey. Not going to lie, but they are the top tier olive oils that you should be using stay away from palm oil 
Stay away from vegetable oil. Stay away from canola oil. Stay away from any other oil than olive oil. That's the only type of olive, any type of oil that you should be getting your fats from. Those are healthy fats. Don't use too much. But, like, don't make it like you're drinking. The most you should have a day is two tablespoons of olive oil a day. And you and it, it, you can be in your macros. That can, that can hit your macros, help hit your macros with fats. Um, what else? Uh, you got, okay, that's the oils. Um, oh, yeah, and another thing with the nut butters. Like I was saying, if you're getting peanut butter, make sure the only ingredient in peanut butter that you should see is peanuts and salt. Uh, maybe not even, maybe, maybe not even salt, just peanuts. Uh, if you see palm oil or any type of oil in your peanut butter, don't get it. Or not even just peanut butter, any butter. Now I have some, I have a recommendation on a butter that you can get a nut butter that you can get it's called nutzo um power seed it has sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds chia seeds uh uh cheek seeds i think and uh and a few in sunflower chia pumpkin and a few other flax seeds too and uh, it's all like in a buttery form. Uh, I don't think it has any um, oil in it. I don't think. If it does, I'm sorry. But I'm sorry for recommending that. But uh, yeah. And that's pretty much that. Uh, I, probably, I pretty much just gave y'all the sauce today. I think it's some more things that I wanted to say about weed. But I mean... I say that for another time. It's not like I just got to talk about it in one video. You know what I mean? And, uh, but yeah, pretty much. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to name this video. I mean, I'm just walking around the block, man. This ain't my neighborhood, though. But I'm just walking around, man. Just trying to, just having a good little night. Uh, I'm working on legs today, so I'm just doing some little simple squats. Not simple squats, but I'm doing some little squats. And, and uh, I can't really, I ain't going to say I can't, but I don't do as like as intense training in the winter. I just do what I can. But in the summer, when the summer comes around and I start building muscle and getting like, start eating a little bit more and the sun to be out and I'd be sweating more. I ain't going to lie. That's when shit gets crazy. But in the winter. I do some little, some, I do cardio, like running, walking, riding my bike. I lift weights here and there. I definitely do ab workouts, push-ups, pull-ups, you know, different little things. In the summer, I can mix it up. I'll be sweating. I'll be burning more fat so I can get my abs to show better and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a lot to look forward to. Uh, you know, stay tuned for that Christmas vlog. Uh, in the morning, I'm making a video. Uh, my Christmas, no, not Christmas, but my, uh, my, me shopping, uh, my, you know what I'm saying, me going to my, gro my grocery shopping, and, uh, I mean, that might be my only video tomorrow, it depends, I might record myself raking the yard, I don't know, just whatever, I don't, like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna name this video, it was just gonna be about weed, but I added, I put y'all on game with some, uh, some health facts and stuff, it's more than that, but, you know, but yeah, so, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, finna get back to the house, go do what I gotta do. I'm gonna show y'all my workout routine soon. Uh, I just haven't had the time to do it. I wanna get it. I wanna do it inside of a gym, but I could do it at my house or whatever. I just gotta find find the right time to do it. Make sure it's on a nice warm, a little bit more warmer day. This week it's gonna be kind of cold, so you might not get one this week. Uh, it just depends. And, uh, yeah, so I hope everybody have a blessed day. And uh, just, you know what I'm saying, stay fit, stay healthy. Like I say in pretty much every video, um, kids say no to drugs. Actually, uh, live a healthy life. Don't listen to nobody. Don't, don't feel like you got to be pressured into doing something. If you ever get pressured, into smoking or doing something those people are not right for you don't listen to nobody 
live healthy, do not smoke, eat healthy, and put a smile on your face. You feel me? <laughs> so, it's your boy Dolo World, and I'm out. Peace.